Hi guys, Dan Mihia here, your personal psychologist, and today we are talking about narcissist. Most of uh, my subscribers at this point um, came for a narcissistic uh, topics. So let's talk more about them then. If you're interested in any other topics, just comment down below and we will talk about that as well. And before we jump to the topic, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and let's go. So guys, now we are talking about narcissists, again about narcissists, um, and this is a very important topic that we are discussing now. We are talking about what can make you almost invincible in this battle with your narcissists. Of course, the best recipe for all narcissistic um, interactions is no contact. No contact, run away, just uh, stop talking to this person, stop dealing with this person, yes, all that is true but life is not that simple and sometimes you have to keep interacting with them because they can be your parents they can be your spouses that you still have to be in touch because uh, you might have uh, kids together you might have some property together you might have anything else together that you still have to interact about it can be anybody that you cannot just uh, run away and stop talking to it can be be somebody that you have to keep in touch and have to interact with and yes if you have to this person will keep hurting you this person will keep hurting your feelings this person will keep using all those tactics to make you feel like shit and i mean that so this is how you literally feel when you interact um, with narcissists and they know their stuff how to make you feel that way so they will keep using all those uh, tools and tactics to make you feel as low as possible and you really will do but here is the trick guys that all those tactics and all those um, attempts of a narcissist to hurt you will work and will really hurt you only when you have some open needs for this narcissist only when you have something that you want from this person and this is something that you might want from this person subconsciously you wouldn't really understand that it's like this until you do some deeper psychological work and you will really reveal what literally you feel in this contact with this person what literally you feel and why your feelings get hurt let's um, uh, get some some example what exactly you might um, want from this person and this is why this person will have this power to hurt you it's very common when we have transference when we interact with narcissists transference is when we uh, redirect our feelings and emotions from one figure in our life to another what that means that some feelings and emotions that you had um, for your parental figure for your mother for your father you might redirect to this narcissist why that might happen because narcissists always take a dominant position over you they always behave in a dominant way they try their best and they will go all possible ways to be able to take this dominant position over you and when somebody is taking this dominant position over us in our subconscious mind this person might literally be taken as a parental figure because in our childhood we got used to feel under somebody especially if your parent was a narcissist and of course these narcissistic traits will be here as well and it will click right away so you will start feeling that way and when this transference complete you will start wanting from this specific narcissist that you struggle with now you will start wanting from him or her everything what you ever wanted but for example never got from your parents like uh, acknowledgement like for example you would like um, to say something to tell something about yourself something what you achieved something what you accomplished something what you did in your life in your day something good something good what you did and you will expect subconsciously you will expect 
acknowledgement about wow you did a great job oh wow you are so talented oh wow you are so good at it oh wow you have great uh, technical skills oh wow you have great creative skills and so on so this is something what you might subconsciously want from this specific person and subconsciously you will try to do all that in your communication to get this reaction but every single time when you will try to get this acknowledgement like wow you did a great job or oh, wow you're so good you will just get another punch you know how it works and this is how you get hurt or you might um, have another mistake in this um, specific uh, case with your narcissist that uh, you might um, uh, communicate with this person like you would communicate with any other healthy person like you will try to build emotional connection with this person like you will try to uh, say something tell something tell something about your life just to get this healthy emotional feedback this healthy emotional interaction with this person but with a narcissist it wouldn't work that way because a narcissist will never give you this emotion interaction but will only gather some information from what you said to use it against you for example and again you will get hurt or another example you might want um, a support for example support when uh, you feel a moment of weakness of um, emotional weakness emotional tiredness emotional vulnerability and you again you will come to this person and will tell about some of your struggles of your uh, day let's say again in the healthy interactions you will get some support from uh, from this person you will get some support when the person will listen to you when the person will uh, uh, just give you some advice or will just tell you that everything what happened is not your fault and so on a narcissist will just convert everything what you told him or her against you saying something that everything what happened is your fault everything is happened because you didn't listen to him or to her it's because you are stupid it's because you are such and such and again you get hurt so guys the bottom line here is that you get hurt with a narcissist only when subconsciously and you have to really catch that you have to really look deeper in you you have to really analyze all your intentions all your flying by thoughts that you might have in your mind when you communicate with this person all your intentions like why am i saying such and such with this person why am i saying that what do i want from this person what do i want to get from this person when i'm telling about um, how my day was what i want from this person what do i expect from this person when i tell about some of my struggles or when i share how I accomplished something what do I want from this person and when you will start catching those things you will understand all your inner intentions in this contact so it's very important to catch those things and to stop doing that to simply cut all your emotional needs from these specific interactions and only interact with this specific person about uh, some technical moments like something if it's your spouse and you have to interact about the uh, kids that you have together so communicate strictly about that only about that and nothing else if it's your boss at work or your co-workers you only interact about um, your work that you have together and you are not trying to prove them how good you are you are not trying to get their acknowledgement you are not trying to get their compliments or prove them that you are a good employee or whatever else you might have in interactions emotionally if you will watch that and you will cut all your emotional needs from this person that uh, you wouldn't need anything from this person you wouldn't want anything from this person 
then you're invincible. This person will never be able to hurt you. And this is the main point here. So guys, write down below your experience with your narcissist, your recipe with your narcissist, how you dealt with them, what worked and what didn't. Hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video. Bye.